Hey guys, it's me Andrew again, your favorite Canadian YouTuber, eh? And I'm going to be playing the House of the Dead remake on Nintendo Switch. However, I'm going to be playing it a little bit differently from how most people have done so far, because I'm going to be playing it with this. The Nintendo Switch Joy-Con Gun. Yep, it exists. I got it in a bundle pack with this game here, uh, Chicken Range. I got it mainly for the gun. I got it for like uh, 17 bucks Canadian on Amazon, which is slightly better than most standalone gun prices without a game, but whatever. Anyway, uh, right off the bat, uh, you guys remember those uh, Wii gun accessories, like the uh, the classic Wii Zapper? Oh, there's also a couple other different types, like I also have this one, this classic long barrel pistol rifle thing, and this one, which... Uh, which you can actually uh, either have as a two-handed rifle or detach the back and use it as a single-handed pistol. Uh, and speaking of which, uh, this one, just like that one, actually comes in two parts. Yeah, it's secure, I'll say that. Cool, huh? I'll click that back in place. All right. All right. I'm to play the House of the Dead, quite possibly the way it was meant to be played. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. Uh... Alright, you guys ready for this? Not sure how well you can see the screen, but I'm going for a new campaign. Alright. It's been quite a while since I played the original arcade version, but... Will this be a lot like it? Well, we're about to find out. <sighs> Sorry if I'm filling out with my shirt a little too much. It's a bit of a habit. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this goes. First chapter, Tragedy. Can you see the screen well enough? Oh no. All right, hold your fire. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Why does that remind me of that old uh, FNAF fan animation where the guy said save them? Reload. Reload. Ah, oh, crap, I shot the guy. Yeah, I have a G-trigger fingers. Oh, I think he hit me there for a sec. Control issue. I, uh... Open. Well, so far, so good. In a moment, I do have to. Sometimes I do need to recalibrate a little to get the aim back in the middle, or when I need to change the position of how I'm holding it. <laughs> What's going on with his face? Don't worry, I'll save you. I got him. Good. I don't accidentally shoot him again. Does it record how many times you hit or miss? 
Oh man, my uh, it's been a while since I played a light gun shooter, so my aim is a little off. Either that, I heard some people saying that this game has a lot of like uh, gyro drift or something. Uh, I can see a little, but so far it's not as bad as I've been hearing it was so far. But I guess that's just because like people didn't have as good control with just these tiny little joy cons, which don't really feel much like holding a gun. Maybe it's just me. Like, sometimes I feel like I need to, like, reposition the gun in my hands to make it more comfortable if I'm, like, getting tired or feel like I need to hold it differently. And I do need to recalibrate it every time I do that, which is surprisingly more often than I thought. <sighs> ah, that, that guy died rather quick. I'm not sure if I could have saved him or her. Oh, good thing I have infinite continues, I think. Oh, yeah, I got him. Ow. Stupid monkey. So far, so good. Oh, big guy. Oh, he died out rather easily. Ow. I'm getting hit an awful lot, I'll say that. You're welcome. I did need to adjust the sensitivity quite a few times until I got one that finally works for me. Sorry if I'm talking about too much, unless you enjoy my commentary. Oh, my back is starting to hurt a little. Sometimes when I stand still in one place, I'll stiff for too long, my back hurts. Don't worry, I'll save you. Gotcha. Oh. I, I couldn't kill him fast enough. Sorry. Oh, big guy. Oh, just before you get chainsaw me. Ah, my hand's starting to hurt a little. Maybe I'll try and switch positions. Uh. So far, the accuracy is uh, not sure if it's better or much of the same, but feels a bit different. Area type 27. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was the House of the Dead 1, 2, or a different game I uh, was played in the arcade. It was one of them. Maybe it wasn't the first. I'm not sure. Man, I can't get a good aim on this guy's weak spot here. It's so small. It's hard getting a grasp on. Or maybe it's also the... Uh, the uh, input delay on the uh, gyro or something. Oh, okay. All right. All right, let's spam this bad boy. Oh, crap, it's popping out. Wait, it's not moving. Oh crap, did the gyro turn off or something? What the heck? Hold on, something's wrong with the gyro. I think the gyro just accidentally turned itself off somehow. Oh, never mind. I, uh, it's like this button up here that turned it off for some reason. It's a bit weird, but whatever. Alright, is that the end? Okay, if you say so. Alright, 
right, I'll admit the accuracy is a little bit off. Uh, I'll say this much, maybe if I could hold it with just uh, one hand instead of two, like a single-handed pistol, kind of like this. Uh, that would be nice. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Could work, maybe. Well, it's worth giving a try. I'll just uh, before I go to the next chapter, I'll just recalibrate settings, switch to the right. All right. Will this feel like holding a pistol? Well, unlikely, but it's worth giving a shot. All right. This time I'm switching to the right Joy-Con. Before I was on the left because the left Joy-Con is the one that's at the front, but you still shoot with the right one. Right, this is going to be new to me because I haven't played the second level yet, so this is going to be entirely new. Alright, how well good control will I have with uh, just a singular? Will it feel like a pistol? Well, it doesn't really feel like a pistol like the Wii one does. It feels more like a, a sawed-off shotgun that's been sawed off way too close. But hey, if I hold it like this, hold like this right to support, this might be able to work. I, it's worth giving a try. The second chapter, Revenge. Mm, taking in all banners like. Right. Yeah, so far this is actually better for me at least I feel like I do I feel like I actually do have a, a slightly better accuracy with this holding it like this uh, with just half of it so far I'm actually kind of surprised because this isn't really how you're supposed to use it but surprisingly this actually feels better and it definitely feels more comfortable than just holding a tiny singular joy-con without anything around it uh, I couldn't save that guy once again, this is my very first time playing this uh, this level, so this is new to me. I played the first one a few times before. Oh, big guy! Ah, he pushed me. Oh, shot him right out of the air. I'm probably gonna wrap it up after this one, uh, after this level. I just wanted to see what it felt like playing this game with a uh, with the gun attachment. Ugh, these guys didn't stand half a chance. <laughs> God, that was bad. Oh, vampire bats, zombie bats, zombats, whatever. I also think I, maybe it's also because I turned on the auto-aim, which kind of helps a little. Okay, that's kind of a cheap shot. He, he was off the screen. Oh, these guys again, these little ugly leech things. <sighs> okay, my back is starting to hurt. I, I gotta sit down. <sighs> I know you normally stand up while playing, but I'm not in an arcade, so I can do what I want. Got him. Yeah, <laughs> zombie Freddy Krueger wannabe. How many times have I died so far? I think that was at least the third time-ish. 
What happens if I shoot that fish? Ah, oh, crap. Why'd I shoot the guy? Oh, it's like my instincts tell me you see something, don't ask. Shoot it. I'm such an idiot. Uh, I forgot this is one of those games where you're, sometimes you should think before you shoot. Ooh, got his insides all outside. Oh, was that... I was, was I supposed to... Oh, got that guy just in time, I think. Oh, big guy. Ow. Headshot, I think. Did I shoot the barrel? Alright, what's down here? Oh, blew the top of his head right off. Did you see that? Oh, I wasn't looking, but I still got him just in time. <laughs> I recalibrated it in, it in the recalibration, aimed the controller in the middle, right where his head is. <laughs> that was helpful. What the heck is going on here? Oh. Prepared there. Did I shoot her? I can't tell if I shot her or if he killed her. Either way, she's dead. Yeah, I can hardly save anyone here. I'm maybe I'm not as good at light guns as I remember. Then again, this isn't my usual genre. Is this the boss level? Do I get to fight this guy now? Oh. Oh, now I get to fight this guy. Good. It's vibrating in my hands like a phone. Uh, it's hard to get a good name on this guy sometimes. Uh, do I need to aim somewhere specific on him? Oh, oh yeah, I've been so paying so much attention to him, I keep forgetting about his bat minions surrounding him that I need to shoot those too. <laughs> that guy kind of blocked the screen a little. Also, do I need to kill all his bats first or something? Um, I notice the controller sometimes moves places I don't tell it to. I don't know if that's gyro drift or if it's or if it's aim assist or auto aim, where it like tries to automatically lock on the closest enemy. But there's so many enemies surrounding here all at once. It's it, it's like, well, well, which target do I pick? Which one? Which one? And it's going all over the place. Like you guys, uh, is that what's happening here? Because uh, that's kind of what it feels like it's happening. It's trying. Like the auto aim or aim assist is trying to pick a target, but it's uh, but there's so many on the screen at once, it's having a hard time uh, deciding which one to lock onto. Well, that's kind of what it feels like. All right, this guy is about halfway dead, I think. Right, shoot him in the head, yeah, shoot him in the head if I can. Where's this guy going now? Okay, do I finish him off later? So is that like just the first half of the battle? Oh no, he's coming back, never mind. Oh, he's wall running, like low wing a Shadow Warrior 3.
Jeez, if you take a shot every time this guy says reload, you'd be <laughs> you you'd be wasted in the first minutes. Jeez, it's hard to get a good aim on this guy. I don't know if it's the uh, I don't know if it's me or if it's the gun or if it's just the hitbox uh, that's a little finicky. Got him, I think. And almost, I think. Jeez. I can't tell if it's me or the game, but uh, I seem to be missing almost every shot. He's almost dead. And Oh, did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. Whew! Oh, looks like I got him. That was fun. Yeah, I, uh, I've actually uh, looked up a couple of reviews for this uh, gun accessory before. Uh, a lot, uh, a few, quite a few people say that the uh, gun is the accessory is bad, like it sucks. I think the main reason why a lot of people say that about this Nintendo Switch gun is that uh, is be I think one of the main reasons is because there were never any proper traditional light gun like games uh, on Nintendo Switch, like. This was this was made like not long after the switch was came out, I think, and there wasn't a whole lot of like light gun like shooters back then, so there wasn't really much reason for this thing to exist since there were no games that were like it could be it was properly compatible with or could probably be used for. I'm not sure if I'm wording this right, but uh, I'll say this much. I think another reason why a lot of people say this sucks is because uh, is because uh, most of these, as far as I'm aware, most gun peripherals for the Switch came boxed in in a bundle with a really crappy shovelware shooter. Uh, this one is probably a good example here. That's the one this was packaged with. But hey, now that a uh, now now that a proper game that this could actually be uh, actually be like officially efficiently utilized with exists, uh, well, I'd say this thing works rather well with it. I will admit, I did need to, maybe it's just me, I have a habit of sometimes, like, uh, changing my position of how I hold the gun sometimes, uh, like, uh, sometimes I need to re recalibrate it just to get that, and I, I heard people, once again, I heard some people saying something about, uh, gyro drift is a bit of a problem with this game, I could certainly see that, so I did need to recalibrate it a few times, but, uh, and I think the auto-aim or aim-assist thing is a bit finicky, there's so many targets on the screen, it doesn't know which one to lock onto. At least that's what it appears to me. Other than that, the game is fun for the most part. Uh, not perfect, but good for what it is. And I'll say this much. I'd say this gun definitely enhances the experience and is definitely a lot more comfortable to use than a single tiny little Joy-Con because, uh, you know, that one doesn't really feel like you're holding a gun and it's so small it's uh, hard to get a comfortable grip on while playing. Or maybe it's just because I have big hands or... Uh, or like, if you take a look at the Joy-Con compared to the size of my hand, not sure if you can see that. Uh, uh, whatever. Either way, I'd say this one definitely enhances the experience, and uh, it's been a while since I played uh, a House of the Dead arcade game, but uh, I'd say this definitely feels a bit closer to a, uh, to, to a more uh, classic light gun experience than the other one. I mean, then just uh, playing this game uh, with just Joy-Con. Well, that's just me. I'm not sure if I don't, like, plan out what I'm going to say and my words don't come out right. So, please forgive me. Oh, and by the way, another fun fact. Uh, I actually got this game 20% off because uh, because the, the creators of this game said that if you own a specific game made by the same publisher, uh, I, I think... You, uh, you get 20% off the game. Turns out I own uh, Timberman Versus. I think I got it on the eShop years ago for like a huge discount of like 10 cents or something. So because of that, I got a couple bucks off this game, uh, 20%. Oh, and uh, another cool thing is that uh, 
the, the creators of this game uh, very recently announced on Twitter that if you own the House of the Dead remake on the Nintendo Switch, you get 90% off the uh, the Panzer Dragoon remake. And I got it for like, uh, and I got it for only like two bucks. How awesome is that? So yeah, I'd say I uh, wasn't quite sure if this game was worth the price or not, but uh, my tape. With that in mind, I'd say it is worth it now. Oh, I will say this though, I did also try playing Panzer Dragoon with uh, with with this because I heard it was like sort of like a on rails like gunish game as well. Mm, big mistake. Whatever you do, do not play Panzer Dragoon with this thing. It does not work at all. And the gyro is so off; it's virtually unplayable if you try to play it with this. Or maybe it's just because the way these Joy-Cons are positioned in the gun and the gyro in that game is not meant to be used like this. That's just my guess. Sorry if I talked a little too long, but, uh, but hey. So, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, would I recommend this game to play the House of the Dead remake on Nintendo Switch? Definitely. I'd say it definitely enhances the experience. Uh, it's uh, definitely better than playing with uh, just a single Joy-Con, that's for sure. And once again, if you get this particular gun accessory that uh, splits into two, you can either choose to play it uh, one-handed, like a pistol, uh, assuming it feels comfortable in your hand, or you can just play it like uh, the way it, it intends you to, like two-hand rifle. Once again, if you want to play it with uh, like this, uh, you do need to set it to the left Joy-Con as the one to aim with. It doesn't see... Uh, if you choose the left Joy-Con, you still have to shoot with the right one. So you're like pointing this one at the screen while the other one you still have to press the trigger on. But with this gun, that definitely balances that out more because they're both attached to the same peripheral. So this one aims, this one shoots. You got that? Alright, sorry if I said a little too much. I think it's about time to wrap this up here. Well, uh, thanks for watching me play the House of the Dead remake. So, uh, I don't know if there are any other good like on games on the Switch or not. Uh, if there are any, please let me know. I might try this with more of them, because because now that I have this, uh, I'd like to see what other games would work for it, just like this one. Well, I think that's all I can say for now. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Hey. Eh?